Okay, let's get started. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm here to represent our team to introduce FedML, a research library and a benchmark for federated machine learning. Uh, FedML is led by Professor Simon Westenberg in Universities uh, of Southern California. My name is Chao Yang He. I'm his PhD student focus on large scale distributed learning algorithm, efficient deep learning, and AutoML. This is a joint work with many researchers and engineers in academia and the industry. First, let me introduce the background. We summarize related works in federated learning, and we find that federated learning lies at the intersection of many problems. There are diverse areas of focus within federated learning. Uh, researchers may target statistical challenges due to large distribution, and also try to make federated learning trustworthy, and also concern how to break the system constraint and develop many models and applications uh, based on federated learning algorithms. So to tackle so many questions nowadays, we already have four excellent federated learning libraries, TensorFlow Federated maintained by Google, Leaf Benchmark published by CMU, and two other libraries like PySuite and Fate released by industry. However, researchers are still facing many challenges. The first challenge is the platform diversity, which leads to a huge gap in the current federated learning community. You can see this red, red line on the right side, uh, machine learning optimization researchers publish many algorithms based on standalone simulation, such as some latest algorithm released by LEAF dataset and the TensorFlow Federated Simulation Framework. LEAF is only for standalone simulation, but lots of uh, support for realistic distributed training. Although uh, low-level RPC API can also be supported by TensorFlow Federated, there's lack of recent published algorithm in TensorFlow Federated. Also, there's low open source library uh, for IoT and smartphones. On the left side, you can see that industry company deploy algorithm for distributed computing and on device training, such as the effort from PySwift and Fate, uh, Fate frameworks. However, PySwift and Fate are frameworks developed by industry. So it, it is very hard for them to keep up with algorithm published by academia in the uh, standalone uh, simulation because commercial use cases are always their highest priority. So the gap here is that the algorithm developed in standalone simulation is very hard to be migrated to uh, distributed computing and on-device platforms. On the other side, algorithm used in industry largely lag behind the algorithm developed by academia. Second, in federated learning, we have diverse algorithms and the system-wise configuration. Besides the common uh, centralized topology in industry, we can see that decentralized hierarchy, vertical, and split federated learning are also very important and useful. This is largely ignored by current libraries such as TensorFlow Federated and LEAF. So here we want to argue that there are far more algorithms uh, than federated averaging can be developed in federated learning. So it's not a good idea to support federated training by just using reuse or reduced based APIs. Third, uh, we, we think benchmark is extremely important in federated learning. So this table in our paper summarizes the data set, uh, the model and the partition method in different papers. We can see that uh, all of these settings are different in different algorithms. What even worse is that most of the newly published algorithms are not supported by existing library. These two problems lead to the difficulty of making a fair comparison. So in these four libraries, none of them can fully address the above mentioned problems. So due to this reason, we would like to ask a question. What's a good design, library design that can facilitate the algorithmic innovation in realistic federated learning, which is research oriented and has less distributed, communicate, uh, distributed programming burden? So with this question in mind, we started our federal, uh, federal ML library project a few months ago the design goes to serve academia first. So first, we won't keep pace with advance in academia. Second, we hope to write code once and run everywhere with seamless cross-platform migration. Third, we hope researchers to focus on innovation for algorithm and let the library do the implementation. So this diagram is a pipeline of our design goal. If researchers can first finish their algorithm concept in a standalone simulation supported by FedML, 
And then they can easily try their algorithms in a larger scale data set and models in distributed computing platforms. Afterwards, for the IoT platform, there is no need to re-implement the code in another programming language like Java and C++. So we can simply reuse the code as a distributed computing, and then we can support the IoT device training. To begin with, let me explain our features for more details. As for the high-level API of FedML, simplicity is the key. Here, I use an example of the average version to explain the APIs. To run the average version, the first thing we need to do is to specify the devices or the topology. Next, we just know the data set by specifying which data set you would like to use. Afterwards, you can create a model that can run based on this data set. As for the origin, you don't need to care too much about the details. You just call one line code like this. So we only have four lines of code to run our federated learning algorithm. It's quite easy, right? But this is not the end. We also support many other algorithms. So this is a table that uh, summarizes our feature list. As you can see here, that we also support many other algorithms that are published in a conference like New York's 2020 and IQR 2021, and also some decentralized vertical federated learning and speed learning. So all these algorithms can uh, support uh, cross-device training and also cross-channel training. And we also support robustly and secure aggregation in our library because privacy and security is also our concern. So in short, federated learning, uh, FedML supports three computing platforms, uh, state-of-art state of optimizers, various data sets, and the models. So now let's show a live demo here. You just visit fedm.ai to get our code here in the repository. You can see that uh, all other repository based on FedML framework. Uh, you can simply use git clone to get code to your local server. So here I use a, a MacBook to demonstrate the concept in my, uh, yeah. So you can see here the Mac uh, FedML API. In FedML, it's a distributed uh, folder. You can find the Fed Everything algorithm, and you can create an experiment like this. And in the main function, we only have four lines of code to start the algorithm, as I mentioned just now. And in the readme file, you can copy the command. For example, here is a mini state set, and paste to the command line and command nine, and, and you can run the algorithm. And during the running, we uh, we reuse the a uh, weight and bias platform to track the experience at. Uh, you can go to the uh, weight and bias platform to see the training curves and some logging. Uh, in, uh, here, we provide a lot of bench, benchmarking results so that you can, uh, you don't need to rerun it and you can use it as reference results for your research. And uh, in the console, you can see uh, the logging so that you can be, uh, to see whether your ex uh, algorithm expect meet your uh, expectation. Okay, let's uh, continue. So you must be very curious about how we can achieve this in a single, uh, in just a single uh, library design. Let me explain the, our technical contribution. Uh, as we mentioned, we hope to support this pipeline from standalone simulation to distributed computing, uh, and then, uh, for IoT platforms. So this is the system architecture that, uh, uh, that attempt to meet this goal. In the lowest layer, you can see that we designed FedML core. Inside it, there are two components, the distributed communication component and the training engine component. Uh, for the distributed communication component, it aims to support MPI, MQDT, and uh, other communication backend like RPC. So high-level APIs are built based on FedML core and it can also be reused by IoT platforms and data center uh, distributed training. So in order to support such a diverse topologies and complex configurations, FedM core uses a different design pattern here. We call it work-oriented programming. In left side, you can see that traditional or reduced space algorithm uh, in which it does not clearly show the message flow and the message, message definition, but on the right side, in the work oriented program interface, we can see that using the sending and receiving APIs, we can easily control the message flow and define the information exchanging. So the, the advantage of this design is that it can support so many algorithms 
which have different information exchange and topologies. We also give the flexibility to researchers to customize their trainers. We do this for two reasons. First, for different tasks, we may have different models and related loss functions. For example, configuration and laser language processing may have different task success layers and related loss functions. So researchers may need to customize according to their specific research patterns. Second, we hope our library can support PyPods, TensorFlow, JAX. In this trainer class, you can see that we can define the train and the test function with the automatic differentiation APIs provided by these three frameworks. Here, I want to highlight that we do not need to rely on TensorFlow federated, but only relying on the basic forward and backward propagation APIs provided by TensorFlow. So it, we achieve this flexibility by forcing our algorithm uh, not relying on any machine learning frameworks. Uh, another benefit of this trainer customization is that if the researchers follow this abstract class, we can reuse the code running uh, right only once and run in three platforms, from standalone simulation to distributed computing and then smoothly transplant to IoT devices. So you just focus on your applications and let the library do the implementation and platform specific implementation. To make sure FNML is platform all in one to support IoT platform, we need to abstract communication layer. You can see here we can plug in multiple communication backend to, uh, to support IoT computing. Here we use MQTT. So in IoT platform, we only need to change the backend parameters from MPI to MQTT to reuse the code in distributed computing. In the IoT GitHub repository, we'll pro provide uh, ARM-based PyTouch package, which can be installed in the embedded Linux operating system inside the Raspberry and the NVIDIA Earth GPU devices. The most benefit of our design is that the newly published algorithm in Top Gear Conference can be smoothly transplanted into, into these IoT platforms. So next, let's look at the benchmark. We use the same settings for all algorithms. And most importantly, we provide three types of benchmark. The small scale is for convex optimization, and the medium scale is for long convex optimization. And also, we provide deep learning based large scale federated learning for realistic applications. We also provide benchmarking ex experimental results for researchers as reference. In this case, we show that the training result in MobileNet and ResNet. As we can see, that in large scale settings, the accuracy in RID is around five percent percentage lower than the IID setting, which indicates that we need to develop algorithms to, in, to address the LID challenges. Finally, let me introduce our FedML community. After the release two months ago, we already have uh, 170 users, and uh, some of them use FedML as research library, library to publish paper in popular conference. Moreover, in our community, FedML is making real world impact. Here's a, is an example. Researchers in USC have developed fed segmentation, which is a federal healing application in medical setting. Uh, with the help of FedML, researchers in healthcare or medical domain can focus on data set and modeling without the need to handling the federated optimization algorithm and the distributed system development. Uh, so this is uh, our future works. In library side, we plan to upgrade it to support more models and data sets and uh, make the system more powerful and efficient. On the right side, we are also working on research problems and also encourage researchers to uh, work on these interesting problems based on our FedML library. Uh, we believe the power of open source, we are either research users of FedML and also developers of uh, FedML. So in brief, FedML is fully open and welcomes contribution from the machine learning and system research community. So for more details, please visit our website, fedm.ai. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh